Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Monday, March 14, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Los Angeles Clippers vs Cleveland Cavaliers. The Los Angeles Clippers and Cleveland Cavaliers meet Monday in NBA action at the Canadian Tire Center. The Los Angeles Clippers look for a win after splitting their last six games. The Cleveland Cavaliers need a win after losing eight of their last 11 games. Our first pick is. Clippers plus 5.5 points. And here is why. The Clippers have gone 7-3 in their last 10 games, but it has only been good enough to stay even with or lose ground to the three teams nearest to them in the standings, Dallas, Denver, and Minnesota. The Clippers have a comfortable five-game lead over the Lakers for the ninth seed and seem like a near lock to host a play-in tournament game. While they may not be able to make up a five-game deficit to catch Denver for the sixth seed, they have taken advantage of a soft spot in their schedule to put a solid run together. Cleveland has had a solid season, but they have been pushed down the ranks of a loaded Eastern Conference by going just 3-7 in their last 10 games, while their competitors have flourished. They hold a slim one-game lead over Toronto, and they need every victory to keep themselves out of the play-in tourney. They lost tough back-to-back -back against Miami and Chicago, and will be looking to bounce back over their upcoming five-game home stand that starts with this game against the Clippers. As impressive as the Cavaliers have been overall, this team is just too injured to generate much on offense right now, with Allen's recent absence standing out as a particularly big blow. The Clippers continue to play solid basketball despite having a shorthanded rotation of their own, and Los Angeles's defense will be enough to at least keep it within one possession in this one. With their two superstars sidelined, the Clippers have instead had to lean heavily on a strong defense that ranks 8th in rating and 4th in effective field goal percentage allowed. That's going to challenge a Cleveland offense that turns the ball over a ton with so many backcourt injuries, and one of its biggest strengths of rebounding is certainly hurt with Allen now out. Los Angeles's offense certainly isn't great, but with Jackson playing some excellent basketball lately and Morris Sr. adding a scoring punch, it has enough to compete in this matchup. This would be a different story if Cleveland was healthy, but the Cavaliers' current rotation hasn't shown enough to beat a solid Clippers team by this much. And our second pick is under 216.5 points, and here is why. The Los Angeles Clippers are averaging 106.9 points on 45.4% shooting and allowing 107.6 points on 44.7% shooting. Norman Powell is averaging 21 points and 3 rebounds, while Reggie Jackson is averaging 17 points and 4.8 assists. Marcus Morris Sr. is the third double-digit scorer, and Luke Kennard is grabbing 3.4 rebounds. The Los Angeles Clippers are shooting 36.7% from beyond the arc and 78.5% from the free throw line. The Los Angeles Clippers are allowing 34% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.3 rebounds per game. Denver Nuggets vs Philadelphia 76ers. The Denver Nuggets and Philadelphia 76ers meet Monday in NBA action at the Wells Fargo Center. The Denver Nuggets look for a win after winning six of their last nine games. The Philadelphia 76ers look for a win after winning six of their last eight games. Our first pick is. Denver Nuggets plus 2.5 points. And here is why. Reigning MVP Nikola Jokic has put together another stellar campaign to lead the Nuggets to a strong all-around season. Their 7-3 mark over their last 10 games has brought them within striking distance of the Jazz for the fourth seed and a chance to host a first-round playoff series as they currently sit just two and a half games back of Utah. The Nuggets dropped back-to-back -back home games against Golden State and Toronto, and they will be looking to get their momentum back and keep Jokic atop the MVP ladder as they head out on a three-game road trip. The 76ers have been hot since acquiring James Harden on February 10, going 9-3 in the 12 games since the trade that brought Harden over. The run has pushed them into third place, and they don't seem interested in stopping as they sit just a half game behind the Bucks for the second seed and three games behind Miami for the top spot. 
they lost in a blowout at home against Brooklyn on Thursday and got off to a bad start against a weak Magic team, but they managed to come from behind to avoid the upset and their first two-game losing streak since Harden joined the team. Doc Rivers has recently come out and said that he would pick spots to rest Joel Embiid and James Harden down the stretch, and I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up being one of those games after coming off an overtime game against Orlando. Philly has only covered the spread in four of their last 15 home games against a team with a winning road record. On the other side, Denver has covered in its previous four games as a road underdog and will be hungry after dropping their last two games. Denver desperately wants to stay above the seventh spot to avoid a play-in game, whereas, given the potential playoff matchups, the 76ers may actually prefer the third spot over the number one or number two seed. I am backing the Nuggets. And our second pick is. Under 222. And here is why. The Denver Nuggets are averaging 111 points on 47.5% shooting and allowing 108.2 points on 46.5% shooting. Nikola Jokic is averaging 26.1 points and 13.9 rebounds, while Will Barton is averaging 14.8 points and 4.9 rebounds. Aaron Gordon is the third double-digit scorer and Monty Morris is grabbing three rebounds. The Denver Nuggets are shooting 35% from beyond the arc and 79.1% from the free throw line. The Denver Nuggets are allowing 33.9% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.2 rebounds per game. Charlotte Hornets vs. Oklahoma City Thunder The Charlotte Hornets and Oklahoma City Thunder meet Monday in NBA action at the Pacom Center. The Charlotte Hornets look for a win after splitting their last eight games. The Oklahoma City Thunder look to snap a five-game losing streak. Our first pick is Charlotte Hornets for the win and here is why. The Charlotte Hornets are first in the NBA in scoring with an average of 114.6 points per game. Charlotte's field goal percentage is 46.0% which is 16th, and its three-point shooting percentage is 35.9% which is 9th in the league. Three players for Charlotte are averaging between 19.4 points and 19.8 points per game with the leader Miles Bridges, 19.8 ppg, followed by Lamelo Ball, 19.7 ppg, and Terry Rozier, 19.4 ppg. Ball is the leader in assists with an average of 7.3 dishes per contest. The Hornets average 27.3 assists and 12.9 turnovers per game. Oklahoma City is last in the NBA in scoring with an average of 102.3 points per game. The Thunder are also last in both field goal percentage and three-point shooting percentage at 42.3% and 31.4% respectively. Shai Gilgis Alexander is the leading scorer for Oklahoma City with an average of 23.9 points per game but is shooting only 44.2%. Because of injuries, the next highest active scorer is Darius Bosley with an average of 9.7 points per game and Bosley is shooting just 40.5%. With Josh Giddy out injured, the leader in assists is Gilgis Alexander with an average of 5.8 dishes per contest. Oklahoma City has struggled all season and injuries have decimated what was left of a questionable rotation. Losing Dort and Giddy are big blows to the Thunder as it leaves Gilgis Alexander as pretty much a one-man band at this point. Charlotte has been up and down this season, but they are coming off a demolition of another banged-up team in the Pelicans on Friday night. The Hornets are the league's top scoring offense, while the Thunder are the league's worst scoring offense on the year. With so many pieces missing for Oklahoma City, you have to think that they are overmatched here. Look for Charlotte to take care of business as they pick up a victory over an overmatched Oklahoma City squad. Our second pick is over 231.5 points. And here is why. The Charlotte Hornets are averaging 114.2 points on 45.8% shooting and allowing 114.9 points on 46.4% shooting. Miles Bridges is averaging 19.8 points and 3.6 assists, while Lamelo Ball is averaging 19.7 points and 6.9 rebounds. Terry Rozier is the third double-digit scorer, and Kelly Uber Jr. is dishing 1.2 assists. The Charlotte Hornets are shooting 35.7% from beyond the arc and 73.5% from the free throw line. The Charlotte Hornets are allowing 35.7% shooting from deep and are grabbing 45.2 rebounds per game.
Disclaimer, no financial advice. The information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.